Go to sitebuilder.opal.com. The site builder will open with a welcome message and a box for you to enter the location of your project. Click on the X on the corner of the location box. Go to create an account on the top right of the screen. Enter your details and click on register. A message should appear at the top saying registered successfully. Go to sign in and enter the credentials that you just configured. If you successfully log in it should say hi and your name on the top right. To start to design the camera layout on your site, click on New Layout. When prompted, click on Yes to discard current layout and then click on Create New. Now you will need to enter your site layout location. You can either search by site name or address, or DMC coordinates, or decimal degree coordinates. If using DMC, do not forget to adjust N, S, E and W. Once you have your site on the screen, you can zoom in and out to get the ideal size on screen. Click on drag on the map to move the image. Now you are ready to design your site. Go to add camera on the top left of the screen. Select your camera. In this example we will design a perimeter using the COP, a fixed thermal camera. Selecting a COP with a 35mm lens, the camera drops into the middle of the screen. Click on the green and white marker on the screen and drag it to the desired location. Going to the performance tab on the left side of the screen, select the performance that is required for the camera. In this example we will select both detection, 2 lines on target, and recognition, 6 lines on target. Recognition is also relevant to simulate video analytic detection range. Below performance, select the type of target you plan to detect. In this example we will use a human size target. Scroll up to camera control and select the mounting height of the camera, this is how high the camera is from the ground, and adjust the tilt angle to reduce the dead zone of the camera. The adjusted maximum range and dead zone are shown above next to the image of the camera. Once we are happy with the position of the first camera, we can click on the icon of the two markers to clone the camera. Click and drag the new camera to the second location. Using the camera angle scrolling circle we can adjust the direction of the camera. Again, we click on the icons of the two markers to clone the camera for the third position. Click and drag the camera to its new location. Rotate the camera into position. The field of view of this camera is too narrow and the focal length too long. Under camera control click on horizontal field of view slider increase or decrease the focal length of the camera, until the desired field of view is achieved. Adjust the mounting height and tilt angle as per the other cameras to simulate the best position for the mounting of the camera. Continue placing cameras around the perimeter until the desired design is completed. Using multiple cameras can help to cover dead zones where they exist. To demonstrate the placement of a PTZ camera, we go to Add Camera. Select PTZ Cameras, Accuracy a Mini HD and a Lens Configuration. This shows the full 360 degree coverage of a pan and tilt camera. We can zoom out to see the full coverage of the PT camera. To delete a camera, click on the marker of the desired camera and then click on the trash can icon. When you have completed your design, click on Save Layout. Enter a name and click Save. You will then be prompted with the option to request quote. This will send a request to Opal. To open a previously saved layout, go to layout on top left and click open. This will give you a list of layouts. You have the option to download the layout in a proprietary format for backup to share on the site builder platform. Open or delete the layout. Also within the layout menu, you can select print. You can select a printer or to print a PDF. The printout will show an overview of the design, list the cameras selected and the coordinates of each camera. You can toggle between map and satellite view depending on your preference. Fire detection. Enter your site layout location and click search. Click and drag the location required into the center of the screen. To zoom in or out use the mouse scroll bar or the plus end, symbols on the lower right of the screen. Go to add camera on the top left of the screen. Select your camera. In this example we will design a fire detection solution using the CATFD thermal camera. Selecting a CATFD with a 35mm lens, the camera drops into the middle of the screen. Click on the green and white marker on the screen and drag it to the desired location. In the lower left of the screen under subject type change the type to fire, as displayed by an icon. The camera field of view triangle will turn red. Fire size will now appear under subject type. 
For the example we will remain with a 1 meter by 1 meter fire size. Change the mounting height to the desired height, then change the tilt angle to reduce the dead zone. Note that SiteBuilder provides an estimation, and the exact tilt angle should be determined on the site. Once we are happy with the position of the first camera, we can click on the icon of the two markers to clone the camera. Click and drag the new camera to the second location. Using the camera angle scrolling circle we can adjust the direction of the camera. Again, we click on the icons of the two markers to clone the camera for the third position. Click and drag the camera to its new location. For the fourth camera, the field of view of this camera is too narrow and the focal length too long. Under camera control click on horizontal field of view slider increase or decrease the focal length of the camera, until the desired field of view is achieved. Repeat this again for the fifth camera. To view the whole site, after placement of the cameras, click and drag the site into the center of the screen and use the plus and icons to zoom in and out. As with the previous example you can save layout, request quote or print, either to a printer or PDF depending on how your computer is configured. This concludes this short tutorial on Opcal's Site Builder tool. For any questions and further information, please contact us at info at opcal.com.